Hey, good morning. Welcome back to uh, Breakfast at Fijuan. Now, yesterday I decided to take a walk to, uh, towards the stadium to watch a rugby match. Um, passing by the ANZ uh, National Stadium's uh, car park, there were tents being built for this event. I was wondering what it was for. Uh, <laughs> this morning we're going to find out more about it. Now, you would have noticed that there's a hive of activity, and that's because the um, National Women's Expo starts today. To tell us more about it with the theme Press for Progress, we have with us the Honorable Marisene Wuniwanga, the Minister for Women, Children, and Poverty Alleviation. How are you this morning, ma'am? Good, thank you, Amelia. Welcome to breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, we've noticed because we're a big fan of um, the expo that's being bigger and better every single year. Can you tell us more about what we, what we can expect this year? Thank you. Uh, what we're looking at this year is about 340 women from the four divisions. Uh, they're here as in every other National Women's Expo, this being the fourth, mm -hmm. here to sell the, the handicraft, basically, the things that they've worked uh, on over the months, and it's something that they look forward to. Mm -hmm. yeah, but apart from that, we have um, other very exciting things for members of the public. Right. Mm -hmm. There are food stalls there, um, there are uh, florists also for those who are interested in that. And uh, for the women, uh, it's an opportunity for us to uh, build the capacities in various aspects of uh, social, economic, and legal rights as well while, whilst they're here. So that's ongoing as well. Maybe you were telling us a little bit earlier on about how um, this year's expo is kind of divided into four villages. Can you tell us more about those four villages? Yes. Apart from uh, the women selling their handicraft, they, we've uh, built what we call four villages outside of um, the gymnasium. And uh, this is, uh, uh, these villages basically run along certain themes. One is mm -hmm. on money, mm -hmm. and we've got financial institutions in there, the banks, and we've also got some investment companies, Fijian Holdings is there, and Unit Trust of Fiji as well, right. to, um, uh, for financial literacy information and also to provide certain services to women if they're interested in that. Right. Then we've got the home art village, uh, mm -hmm. certain um, uh, training that's ongoing on sewing, on tie dyeing, on uh, flower arrangements. Um, there's also a uh, beautician that's going to be there who can uh, put makeup on women. Or oh, nice. uh, yeah, so that's <laughs> available as well. And then we've got uh, a desk on climate change, a village on climate change, which is a very important um, um, uh, phenomenon we're going through in Fiji, and mm -hmm. it's important to also empower women, particularly rural women in relation to issues uh, pertaining to climate change. And we've got relevant organizations who will be at that village giving out relevant information mm -hmm. to women. Uh, the fourth village is our partnership village. It's basically our very close partners for mm -hmm. the ministry that uh, provide services and information for women. This includes uh, the Fiji Women's Crisis Center, uh, medical services specific, uh, there's a uh, Fiji Women's Fund, and other stakeholders that are critical mm -hmm. to the work that we do at the ministry. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, the event that starts off today, mm. um, th there was a build-up uh, in months uh, leading up towards this event, and also we're looking at quality in terms of products. Um, tell us about the theme of this year's uh, event, and uh, in terms of quality that we're looking at in terms of uh, the um, craftware that's being sold right. throughout this uh, next few days. Okay, we've adopted the theme of our press for change. This is the International Women's Day theme. Uh, we thought to make it relevant on the home front. Uh, in relation to the expo, we've run a divisional craft shows, uh, as you've said. From there, we've um, uh, selected the women right. that uh, are now here, the 340. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we've uh, received help from the Fiji Arts Council okay. and uh, also the Ministry of Industry and Trade mm -hmm. that um, uh, regulates the uh, Fijian crafted, Fijian made logos. Mm -hmm. So this year, we will be looking at uh, around 50 women of the 340 who have reached that standard oh, wow. that can be now licensees of the Fijian crafted um, uh, standards. Mm -hmm. So altogether, out of the four expos, we mm -hmm. will now have 170 licenses. It's an exciting thing for us. Mm -hmm. And to think back to four or five years ago when the ex first expo started, and to know that uh, there were no standards as such, um, and standards have been introduced by government and these women to be able to 
aspire to and to achieve those standards. It's something that's empowering for themselves as well. And that's something that we're very excited about. Well, it seems like uh, the women that I saw yesterday uh, getting off the buses beside the tents were quite excited with their uh, <laughs> chamba, yes. their bags beside them. Yes. Where, where are they staying uh, for the next few days? Uh, the, uh, the four divisions are billeted in different areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the northern and the eastern division um, taking advantage of the USB accommodation right. for students. Then we've got uh, another division at uh, the Lamy Parish Hall and uh, the fourth one at Virgin Green. Okay. Now, uh, one of the things I'm, I'm really quite interested in is the Home Art Village because you're saying there's, there's so many things that are going to be going on. Um, is there a timetable that we can kind of uh, take a look at so that we can, okay, yeah, so that I can step work <laughs> in time to go and see those things? Yes. <laughs> the entire program is in the Fiji Sun. Uh, okay. That's in today's papers as well. So, yeah, everything is in there. So okay. whatever's happening in whichever village or in the main um, yeah. um, event mm -hmm. at the gym, it will be in that particular program. Now we're looking at pictures uh, from um, the build-up towards this uh, this event that we're talking currently oh, about uh, right now. But in terms of food, like in the morning, <laughs> right oh, after gosh. this, I'm, I'm sure, <laughs> Madam, you're going to be going down to uh, the stalls and yes. the, the the nice food to um, yes. um, to go and um, check out mm -hmm. in the morning, mm -hmm. also during lunch. Mm -hmm. um, apart from the, the mats, uh, in terms of the uh, visitors per day, mm. what are we looking at? Mm. Oh, uh, <laughs> if uh, the previous years are any indication, uh, we, uh, we will be expecting a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for the food, Sylvester, yeah. what's very exciting about the food, the food vendors are actually women's groups right. from okay. around the area. So that's another way that we get to empower women uh, mm -hmm. in whatever area of life that they're engaged in. We, we try to empower them however we can. So breakfast will be available right. because you see what uh, the women who will be selling handicraft, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the only condition we've given to the women vendors is to have food for breakfast as well for these women. Oh, no. So there'll oh, be okay. breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. Thank you, Amelia. That's <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you and I are going to have a talk after this. <laughs> But you know, one of the things that uh, you know I heard about and that I find really exciting, um, because you know it's a growing phenomenon in the country, is you going to be having a fashion show this um, this Friday? Yes. From five to eight yes. p.m. Yes. So can you tell us a bit more about that? Mm. Another uh, an area that's uh, still developing mm -hmm. for the women's expo. But what's so exciting about this year is that uh, the fashion designers out there mm -hmm. right. have come forward and they've lent their help. Oh, to nice. further assist these women in um, in uh, uh, polishing the products mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, the models as well. We last year we used uh, our staff okay. to be the models. So that could be a model. Try, yeah, try every year. see. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thankful for that partnership as well for the, uh, the professionals out there who have come forward and put their hand up to assist our women. But for the women themselves who are taking part in this uh, an event like this, they'll go back to the villages and what would they take back with them? Mm. A lot, Sylvester. Mm. Uh, for, to start off, uh, we've had a capacity building workshop uh, starting from Monday this week. This is for those who had arrived last week. Uh, like we said, uh, we the handicraft is a small component of it. The bigger capacity building is also happening um, mm -hmm. um, around that. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, most of these women come from rural areas. And when we empower them, they go back and they impact on their local community. Right, One right. big thing is just being able to come forward and being able to sell their product, mm -hmm. talk to strangers about their products. Mm. It's uh, building confidence as well. And uh, we get to, some of the women will talk about their experiences. Right. And that's something big. Mm -hmm. And going back, uh, the impact on the community is felt, not only within the community, but first of all, in the family themselves, mm -hmm. in the f within their families, uh, taking money back for their livelihoods, improved livelihoods. Mm -hmm. And that uh, is uh, part of the huge impact that uh, government is trying to do through the National Women's Expo. This is amazing. I mean, I can't wait to see um, what else the National Expo is going to kind of um, uh, come up with over the past mm -hmm. few years. I mean, it started as something mm -hmm. that was, I guess you could, I wouldn't say relatively small, but it's mm -hmm. just grown exponentially and not just yes. grown, but it's gotten better. Like you yes. were saying, one yes. of the uh, measurable indicators that you've had is the standardization yes. of all of your products. Yes. 
and plus the, the money, plus Amelia, the money. The money. The money keeps increasing <laughs> every year. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just so if, if there are women out there who'd like to kind of get involved in this, um, how can they contact you or contact um, the organizers of the National Expo to kind of get their foot into the door? Right. Like uh, I said, for the National Women's Expo, the uh, selection comes through the divisional craft shows. Okay. So they need to go there. Okay. They need to prepare well and turn up at the craft shows when we advertise for that mm -hmm. and that's how they get selected into the National Women's Expo. Competition is getting very tough. Yes. Oh, that's so good. That's, good. that's, yes. Yes. that's, yes. A, good that's good. That's a great <laughs> indicator. <laughs> uh, it seems like time is caught up on, uh, on us, madam. Um, is there a final message that you'd like to share with our viewers this morning? Uh, I'd just like to invite Suva and the rest of Fiji to come to the gymnasium and support our local women in economic empowerment, social empowerment and legal empowerment. Empowerment as well. We're not kind. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much, women. Uh, all the best at your National Women's Expo. Thank you. We're not kind. Still on breakfast. We've got more for you right after this.